Hi there, chickadee. How you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we're so happy to be with you today. And we're so happy that we're collabing again with the amazing Shaz from Blonde Tea Party. We love that girl. She's so funny. She is just awesome. And we encourage you to go check out her channel and her video that we're collabing with because we know you're going to love her too. And we're so excited about the subject that we're doing. And that starts right now. Here's what we're doing with Shaz this time. And by the way, we'll link our last collab down below so you can check that one out too. We are doing fall makeup look tutorials. Yes! It is that autumnal time of year. And you know, your makeup kind of changes because the seasons change. So Shaz is doing a warm autumn look and we are doing a cool autumn look and we hope you like them. Okay, let's do this. I am not a professional makeup artist, but because of my work in television, I have been trained by professional makeup artists, especially to deal with hooded eyes like mine. So this tutorial is based mainly on working on the hooded eye. I've already put some of my makeup on. I've already put my foundation on, some powder on, a few things like that. This half of my face is done. This half of my face is not done. Gosh, I hope you can tell that this half of my face is done. So for my foundation, I have already used my trusty NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation. And I have also used this primer from e.l.f. Everything that I use both on and off camera, I'll link in the description bar below. So I've already done my foundation, and if you want to see how I get that flawless foundation look, I will link up above a tutorial that I have done on that to show that to you. So let's go ahead and start on the eyes, shall we? I'm going to be using this beautiful smoky palette from Zoeva. Zoeva is known for their brushes mainly, but look at this palette. Is that not gorgeous? This is going to be perfect for a cool toned autumn look. So this is what we're going for today. And I will already tell you, I'm going to be using this shade, this shade, this one, this one, and this one. It's about half of the shades, I guess, but aren't they lovely? I would tell you the names, but my old lady eyes can't read them. So again, I'll list all that below. All right, let's get started. This is a super easy look to do. I'll also tell you the brushes that I'm using if I know the names of them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with this white, whitish vanilla color here. Let me find the brush I'm looking for as I knock things over. Here we go. This is a crown shader brush. So I'm going to go in with that and put that all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. I'm doing this for two reasons. I did not use eyeshadow primer. What I used was concealer. So this is going to set the concealer and also lay down the base for the other colors that we're going to be putting on. And I'm sweating already. I'm sorry for that. We live in the south and it's still warm here even though we're going into fall and I'm hot flashing and we have the hot lights on. So you'll just love me and bear with me anyway, won't you? Okay, now I'm going to go in with this kind of mauve color here. And I'm going to use that as a transition color. I want to use this brush. A little thicker. So I'm going to go in to that right there. Tap it off. And I don't use windshield wiper motions because I have hooded eyes. What we want to do with our hooded, hooded eyes is basically create a crease. So I don't use windshield wiper motions. I actually just kind of sweep where I want that transition shade to go. I just sweep in one direction. So because this is a cool tone look, this mauve really makes for a nice transition shade. And because we have hooded eyes, my natural crease, as you can see, is down here. That makes that hood look even worse. 
So we're going really up here to the brow bone and kind of creating a crease on our own. Now I'm going to go with this brush right here, more of a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go into this matte gray shade here. Pick up some of my brush, tap it off, and go back over where I put the transition color. And again, I'm just sweeping in one direction. I'm also pulling it up. Now, there is some fallout with this palette, so because of that, I have not put my concealer on yet so that we can kind of clean that up and uh, neaten that up a little bit later. I'm not being too particular neat about this. This is a smoky eye, so messy is okay. All right, now, with a flat shader brush, if I can find one, I'm going to go in with this beautiful, kind of a gunmetal, metallic pewter color. And I'm going to put that all over the lid down below. So can you see how I have created a crease up here so that when we close our eye, the eye looks lifted because we have color up there. One of these days I'll do a tutorial that shows step-by-step step just for hooded eyes, where the placement goes and all that. But today we wanted to focus on the colors and the fall feel and all that good stuff. But I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. And you do not have to use this palette. This one I had in my collection. Go through your collection, pick out similar colors, and go for it. Just remember what we're going for here is a cool toned look. I keep knocking my brushes over. I can hear them going into the floor. That's probably why I can't find any. Okay, now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm going into this smoky purple right here. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna go into that. And the reason that I am using a pencil brush as opposed to a fluffier brush it's because I want a lot of control here. So I'm also holding it close to the end as opposed to down here because the more you hold it down here, the looser control you have and the closer you hold it down here, the more control you have. So I am just pulling a line straight up. And again, we're using upward strokes because we want to create an upward motion to lift those hooded eyes. Some people call this a reverse seven, a backward C. I just call it my method. But we're just gonna go in here and in the C, seven, V shape, whatever you wanna call it, we are really intensifying that look. And I'm also pulling this up because by doing that, we're kind of blending it all at the same time. See, we've got a little bit of fallout there. We're going to clean that up. So with that pulling up, we're creating an ombre effect. We're helping in the blending process. And we're lifting that eye all in one step. And don't we like one step shopping? Yes, we do. And for a little bit more shimmer, I am going to take this e.l.f. Molted Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. I believe that's the shade. Yep, Rose. And I'm going to take that. I'm not going to put it all over the lid. I'm going to put it on the first, just this first third of the lid. Kind of gives it that glossy eye look that's so popular now. I'm also going to put it in this tear duct area here and that helps open the eyes and make those small hooded eyes look bigger so right there in the tear duct and in the inner third of the eye let that dry for a second and then i'm going to take a fluffy brush let me find a good fluffy brush. I'm going to take a good fluffy brush 
and I am just going to blend one more time. I don't want everything to fade into each other, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't look too harsh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And for the brow bone, I'm going to take a combination of this shade here, this vanilla shade again, and I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and go into this first shade here. And I'm just going to run it along right under the eyebrow. I just had my eyebrows waxed, so they're good to go. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that all of the shadow you just did doesn't fall down. So you might want to take that blending brush one more time and just kind of pull it up as you're blending. Pull and blend. Pull and blend. And voila! There we go. That just took a few minutes. So I'm going to take a tissue. I should probably use a baby wipe or a makeup wipe, but ha, we're just winging it. It's just us girls here. So now I am going to take my concealer, which has also fallen onto the floor. And if you want to see how I get concealer to not crease, because is there anything worse than creasing concealer that makes you look 452 years old to see a tutorial on how I do my concealer to make sure that it doesn't crease. I'll link that up above so you can see all the steps for that. And I am not using a really, really light concealer. And the reason for that is because I don't want to look pasty white yet. By the way, this is a MAC concealer. I think it's in NC20 or NC15. Again, I'll link all of that below. I'm not ready to look ghostly winter white yet. I'm not trying to look like I have a summer tan. I just want to look healthy. And for me, because I'm so pale, I have found that if I use a concealer that actually is my skin tone or a little bit lighter than my skin tone, it's just too white. A makeup artist actually brought that to my attention. So I don't want that. I want a little bit more of everything kind of blending together seamlessly. I am also going to do my little trick of how I cover the bags under my eyes. And I have a full tutorial on that as well. Also going to link that up above for you. But just quickly, I take a little bit of concealer on my brush after I have blended out my concealer with my Beauty Blender and I go right under where the bags are and just pop that on, blend that in. This takes some precision and some patience so I would recommend checking out that tutorial for sure. Just makes those bags disappear like they were never there. Makes those bags disappear like you just don't care. All right. I am going to set my concealer. A lot of times I just use setting spray to set it, but I am going to set it with a little bit of powder because I don't want it running everywhere. So I am using the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. This is a $3 powder that works like a charm. This is an awesome powder. I've tried high-end powders. When you see me looking down, I'm looking for my brushes, by the way. I've tried high-end powders. I've tried a plethora of powders, and I'm telling you, I come back to this one every time. This is an Eco Tools brush. It's just going to rub it in the cap, tap off the excess. You don't need much. Putting too much is also part of what leads to creasing. Just going to run that just along there, just a little bit, so that that is set. I'm going to go back into the Zoeva palette and taking this beautiful Midnight Plum color again, that Royal Plum and a pencil brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and I'm going to run it 
under my eye so that we are whoo that's a smoky eye if there's ever been one <laughs> gonna run that under my eye so that we are picking it up and pairing it with what we did up above boy that is one smoky eye if there's ever been one but you know what kind of like it the cool thing about this look is that you can customize this to be as dramatic or as simple as you want it to be. Now I'm going to put, and I should have done this first, but I'm going to do it now anyway. I'm going to put a white pencil in my waterline. That is to make my hooded eyes look bigger. Got a tutorial on that for you as well. I'll link that up above so that you can see how we can make those small hooded eyes pop and look less hooded and stand out and look bigger. And we are almost done with the eyes. I am going to use this new Voluminous Lash Paradise that everybody is talking about. Picked this up the other day at Target. I have been wanting to try it, but you know, I have such problems with mascara because I have no lashes and I have sensitive eyes. Yeah, I know. Can't it just be simple? It's just makeup. It's supposed to be simple, but between having no lashes and having sensitive eyes, I'm really limited with what mascaras I can use. Dang! Okay, I see what all the hype about is about with this mascara. This is the first mascara that I remember using in my entire life that is actually adding volume to my tiny little blonde lashes. Oh my gosh! Woo! Yep, I see what the hype is about with the Lash Paradise. Man, oh man. That's just one coat. One coat. Woo! And it's not bothering my eyes. And I already have it on this eye. Has not made my eye water once yet. We're going to keep our fingers crossed for that. I am digging this. Digging it, digging it, digging it. You know what? With that, I am not going to put lashes on. Now, if you want a more dramatic look, go for the lashes, baby. But with this mascara, I'm good without lashes. Yeah. I'm going to leave that just like that. So the eyes are done. Now, quickly, I'm going to finish up the rest of the face. And I also have a tutorial on what I'm about to show you quickly so you can see a little bit more in depth what I do. Now I'm going back in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Use whatever your favorite highlighter is. I'm going in with this lightest shade. And I do my highlighting and contouring backwards. And the reason for that is because I have found that if I don't, the contour just kind of sits there and make a, makes a line. I don't like that. So I put that on there. I'm going to put just a tiny little tip on my nose. Just, just a tiny tip. I don't even know why that fad is in because we wear powder to keep from having a shiny nose. And then we turn right around and put highlight on to give us a shiny nose. I don't get it. But I'm going to do it anyway because I do kind of like the way it looks. I'm going to put just a little bit, I mean a tiny bit on my Cupid's bow. One thing I do not recommend that we as mature ladies do is highlight the chin or highlight the forehead. So many of the younger girls do that. Where do we have wrinkles? On our forehead. Where do we have texture? On our chin. Why on earth are we going to put a highlight on there? Because the purpose of highlight is to draw attention to. So if you have forehead wrinkles, don't put highlight up there because you don't want to draw more attention to it. Same with texture on your chin. You don't want to draw more attention to it. So skip the highlighter on the chin and the forehead. So now that I've put that on first, now I'm going to go in with my blush and I am using this pink blush from e.l.f. Let me find me a blush brush. I'm going to use this Eco Tools blush brush. And with this look, I really want the blush to be prominent. I'm not going in with much highlighter. And I'm not going in with much contour because I really want the eyes, the pinky tone of the cheeks, really want that to be the focus. Don't even want the lips to be the focus. And can we just take a look at these two spots here? Oh my gosh. 
we have a video coming up that's going to explain to you the mask that ate my face. Stay tuned for that. Worst masking experience ever. I mean, it literally ate my face. So I want just a little bit more blush on this side too. And I'm going to smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks because I just want that youthful flush. Now, can you see how by doing the blush after we did the highlight, it's all kind of blended in nicely together. Now I'm going to take a NARS Eda brush, or you can use this really nice Kabuki brush from e.l.f. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, I basically blend these three down here. I just kind of go whoosh. And I'm not, I'm not using much because I don't want contour to be the focus of this. Just going to take just a little bit there. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to immediately go in with a fluffy brush. Oh, fluffy brush, where did you go? Down in the floor, excuse me. Okay, that was interesting and something I've never had happen. The fluffy brush went down in the floor and apparently the camera went down with it, but we're going to carry on. Okay, because I don't want stripes, I don't want the blush and the highlight and the contour to be stripey. Just going to take a fluffy brush, blend it all together, and if I feel like the blush or anything is lost, just go back in, sandwich it back in. Bring that little bit of color back. I am going to contour my chin. Going back in with these three again. Whoosh! And God only knows how this footage is turning out, so I hope you'll love me anyway. I'm just going to go in. Makeup artist taught me this trick. I'm going to do a full tutorial on it. On how to kind of camouflage that double chin which I hate. Oh, I forgot the eyebrows. Let's do the eyebrows real quick. Just using a real simple pencil from e.l.f. This has got to be the most unorganized tutorial ever. Here it is. Tried to hide from me the little booger. Okay, I do not do wild crazy brows. People have asked me for a brow tutorial. What I do is so super simple. I hold my eyebrows up because it's so hooded up here. So I arch my eyebrows. I draw a line, a slanted line. I connect that with the natural bottom arch that I have. Then I go up to the natural arch that I have at the top. And then I just fill it in with little simple hair-like strokes. And that's it. I don't do the big V's. I think that's a ridiculous look. If you like it, God love you. Do what makes you happy. But on me, I don't like it. Let's see if we can get halfway matching brows today. Girl, you know the struggle is real to get your eyebrows to match. And that's all I do. I mean, I just fill it in lightly, lightly, especially because my skin and my hair are so light. It looks goofy otherwise. Okay, so we have eyes that is the smoky cool toned fall eye that we have for you we have our face let's try some lips shall we now i've actually picked out three different lip options for you i've picked out a light a medium and a bright so we'll start with the light one this is color pop and this is in the shade the twirl just got this in the mail the other day I was super excited i'm not going to use a liner because we want the lips to be soft and pinky not spring like but you know because we have so much dark going on on the eyes i want something kind of softer on the lips and pink lipstick makes you look younger too
This is a matte lipstick. You could certainly put a gloss on top if you wanted to for more fullness and to appear even more youthful. So this is lip option number one. All right, now for number two, for lip option number two, I have chosen the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This is a matte lip color also, and then this is in the shade Rebel Rose. This is a beautiful dark mauve. And this may be my favorite of the three. Oh yeah. See how that just kind of mutes everything and ties it all together? But it's still got a nice pink to it. I think this is my favorite one. Rebel Rose, Wet n Wild, Liquid Cat Suit Lipsticks. I'm telling you, these are amazing for $4.99. Yeah, liking that. So this is lip option number two. So for lip option number three, I have chosen this Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Liquid Lipstick, appropriately enough, in the shade Sugar Plum, because here we are in the fall, and before you know it, visions of sugar plums will be dancing in our heads. So, of course, you do not have to use these exact colors or these exact products. But I wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like with a light, a medium, and a bright or a dark. We hope you enjoyed our collab with Shaz to bring you a cool autumn makeup look. It looks gorgeous. Thank you so You did a beautiful much. job. We love collabing with Shaz and we love doing makeup tutorials too. So if you want to see more of them, let us know in the comments below and we will be glad to bring them to you. Absolutely. And be sure now after the end of this video to head on over to Shaz's channel. We'll have it linked below so you can see how to do a more warm toned autumn look. She's so pretty. Oh gosh, she's gorgeous. gorgeous. We know you're gonna dig Shaz, so head on over to her channel and check out her beautiful fall makeup look. And thank you Shaz for joining with us again on this clap. We love you girl. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big old thumbs up. Why are you clicking that big old thumbs up? There's a red subscribe button. We would love for you to click that button if you aren't already subscribed. And next to that button is a bell. Ding! And that bell will notify you each time that we upload a new video. And you don't want to miss what we got to say. Girl, we got so many videos planned. Woo! Holidays, autumn. You don't want to miss a thing. Not at all. Halloween's coming. If you would like to see some Halloween makeup or even hair tutorials, let us know because we can hook you up. Or recipes. I don't do a whole lot of makeup. Re oh, she's the recipe queen. Comment down below for Halloween recipes. Yes, girl, yes. We thank you so much for spending time with us because it always makes our day when you keep us company. We love seeing you. We're so glad that you yes. spent this time with us. So until next time, we're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we love you. Mwah. Bye.